On March 1933, Hitler took control of Germany with the Enabling Act. There were a multitude of factors that contributed to the rise of the Nazi party. One of these was hyperinflation. Germany lost in World War I, which significantly damaged their economy and were forced to pay reparations to the victors. This forced the German Weimar Republic to print more money in order to solve its economic problems. The excessive printing created hyperinflation, which is inflation at a rate of 1000% or higher. This meant prices of goods and services across Germany were increasing at at least 1000%. I outlined problems with inflation in a previous video. The German currency, also known as the Papiermark, lost most of its value to the point that in 1923, 1 trillion German marks was equivalent to 1 US dollar. German paper notes were virtually worthless. This devalued the savings of ordinary Germans as savings didn't increase at a similar rate to prices. The elderly also suffered as their pensions were not adjusted for the high rate of inflation. In addition, rising prices affected consumers and businesses. Basic necessities became expensive. For example, from January 1923 to November 1923, the price of bread rose from 250 marks to 200,000 million marks. This pushed many of the middle class into poverty which knocked confidence in the Weimar Republic. To make matters worse, inflation also rapidly increased the price of farmers' crops so businesses were unable to buy them, leading to food shortages. Starvation was rampant. Even though Germany recovered from hyperinflation years later, many of its effects were long-term or irreversible, making the German populace more susceptible to politicians promising to solve the economic woes of the people. Then. The 1929 Wall Street crash occurred, leading to the German Great Depression and repeating economic hardship. This combined with memories of hyperinflation caused the German people to vote in the Nazi party. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give a like, subscribe, comment, maybe follow me on my Twitter and I'll see you later.